breaking news from KCTV 5 News. Now at noon, breaking news in the investigation into this massive fire. The view from Chopper 5 shows the devastation here at this North Kansas City building. And we have just learned a cigarette is to blame. I want to thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Carolyn Long. Fire crews haven't left the scene since those flames broke out 23 hours ago. But already, they're making a lot of progress in their investigation. KCTV 5's Stephanie Kayser is live for us there at Armour and Swift with the very latest. Stephanie? Carolyn, I've covered dozens of fires, and this is the fastest I've ever seen a preliminary investigation wrap up. In fact, like you said, firefighters are still here on the scene. They're making sure no hot spots pop up. Now, just 10 minutes ago, firefighters were back up on the ladder truck, looking over and pouring water onto the building. So still very much an active scene out here. And officials say they were able to pinpoint the cause so quickly because of witness statements and video. Josh is zooming over to the south corner of this building. That's where a smoking porch was um, on the back of this office building and investigators with the ATF and North Kansas City Fire Department conclude that this is where the cigarette started that fire. Then the wind combined with the location of where people could extinguish their cigarettes started the fire. You can see in this video how big the flames were and it was the firefighters training that got everybody out safely. The chief says they practice fighting fires in older buildings like this and they know how the wind can move fire quickly especially in this area in North Kansas City and they went in to make sure that everybody got out safely. Now the fire actually traveled from that smoking porch up a wall and into the attic. Then the wind drove it through the structure and into some void areas in the attic. We're told this building is old, so it's been remodeled several times. So there are some void areas in the attic, and that's what caused it to rapidly spread and be hard to put out. Now, the good news, since the fire sparked during the day, lots of witnesses, businesses had good surveillance footage. Witnesses both nearby and inside the building took out their cell phones, got video of the fire, and of course, Chopper 5 caught the action from the sky, and it was through that video and talking with witnesses that investigators came to the conclusion that a smoker caused the fire, but they don't believe that person will be charged. We don't have a criminal investigation at this point, nor does North Kansas City. It's an accidental fire. Um, and so there, there was no intent by anyone to cause a fire. Uh, unfortunately, it happened. And uh, I don't know that with specificity, we could indicate the exact, the exact person now, the damage here obviously is extensive and significant. Firefighters could be here for several more hours on the scene, just making sure all the hot spots are out. Now, the owner of the building, he actually, his office is next door in this taller building. He's checking on all the tenants. There are 13 businesses in this office space. He's helping to find them new locations across North Kansas City and make sure they get a start um, of starting over. We're live in North Kansas City. Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News. Well, I know that is not an easy task. Stephanie though thank you for those interesting new details also we have new details on a chase that ended in a crash and with two people in the hospital including a jackson county sheriff's deputy this happened overnight about 1 30 a.m when officers tried to stop a car for traffic violations they were able to put a gps tracker on the car at which time they stopped the pursuit but kept kind of following that vehicle and that's when a deputy crashed into another vehicle at 350 highway and maple drive the sirens were not on at the time so once the lights and the sirens is not activated on our emergency police vehicles, we then become a part of regular traffic. So we have to obey all traffic laws relating to such. So it's still not clear who caused the crash. The Missouri Highway Patrol is investigating that. The driver was rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. The deputy suffered minor injuries, and they're still looking for the driver, that initial driver from that first pursuit. We have an update for you now on the search for the killer of a Missouri National Guardsman. Police say they spent all day yesterday collecting more surveillance video from along 50 Highway and 291. That's where they say Cody Harder was killed in a road rage incident this past weekend. Police say they haven't yet found the right piece of video evidence to lead them to the suspect, but they are confident they will find it. Harder is being laid to rest on Friday in St. Joe and his visitation is set for tomorrow. And now for a live look outside. Another very warm day today and dry for now, but rain could be on the way 
by our overnight hours tonight. Our Storm Track 5 meteorologist Gary Amble joining us this afternoon with a look at what is ahead today, but it looks great now. Well, it does. It's really warming up, though. Marshall, Missouri is four degrees away from 90. 90? Yeah, and there's still plenty of uh, heat left to go this afternoon. I think right, Marshall it's only hit, noon. Yeah, I think Marshall hits 90 degrees today. I looked in the record books for Kansas City the last time our city hit 90 degrees officially was September 21st. That was over 220 days ago, so long, long time. Beautiful blue skies looking out over the city. The temperature in Kansas City, 79. We are not going to hit 90 degrees today. Marshall, Sedalia, maybe certainly well on their way to hitting that point. 86 is going to be our high today at 4, 82 at 6 o'clock. Still comfortable at 8 o'clock this evening, 77 degrees expected then. Fair skies, but there are rain chances, slight ones, but rain chances later this week. I have the latest track on when to expect those, Carolyn, coming up in your Storm Track 5 forecast. All right, thank you, Gary. Today, a Kansas City firefighter will be in court over what happened at the Hooters restaurant in Overland Park earlier this year. A family was there for a birthday party when their three year old boy wandered off. Witnesses told police when someone went to get the child, Terrence Skeen called the boy a racial slur and then spit on him. The end work started to get turned around. He basically said, hey, get that little blank up off the floor. So Skeen is now charged with battery, disorderly conduct, and assault. That trial begins at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We will have a crew there. You'll want to join us for the latest on that today on our news at 4 o'clock. New details now in the case of a dog stabbed in KCK. 43-year-old John Caffrey is charged with felony cruelty to animals. Police found the animal dead on South 22nd Street yesterday, and a neighbor says she saw Caffrey walk with that dog into the woods, then walk back out alone. That's when she called police. She claims the man told her he had killed the dog because it was blind. Jury selection for Governor Eric Greitens' criminal trial begins tomorrow. But first, there is a piece of key evidence still being investigated. A judge is allowing a forensic expert now to extract data from the governor's cell phone and Google account. A third party will then determine whether it is relevant in the case. It's not clear if the cell phone examined yesterday, though, was the one the governor used back in 2015 when the alleged picture was taken. So this trial is scheduled to begin on Monday. That's for the invasion of privacy charge, where he's accused of taking a compromising picture of his mistress. Then in a whole separate case, he's also charged with computer tampering, accused of using his charity's donor list for campaign fundraising. A trial date for that case has not yet been set. Now we'll have live coverage of, of the trial from St. Louis beginning tomorrow morning. You can also find the latest online. Just go to KCTV5.com. Now we go to the very latest developments on three Americans rescued from North Korea. The president tweeted the former detainees are in good health. They are on their way back with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. As a show of good faith, the White House had been pressuring North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to release these Americans, a businessman, two teachers. Pompeo has been in North Korea since Tuesday to meet with Kim and finalize the upcoming summit with President Trump. Meanwhile, Iran's parliament is calling for, quote, proportional and reciprocal action. This is in response to the U.S.'s withdrawal from a deal halting Iran's nuclear program. The exit reinstates many sanctions that were lifted in 2015. Iran's supreme leader says President Trump's speech was silly and superficial and full of lies. Some big promises from the woman slated to lead the CIA, what she says she would and would not do if she gets this historic nomination. Plus, police resume the search for the remains of up to seven young girls, missing now for nearly four decades. Why they believe these cases may be connected to one man. And police body cameras capture the harrowing moments a disoriented man is pulled from a burning car. We'll share you more of this dramatic rescue next. You're watching KCTV 5 News at noon. Rescued just in the nick of time. Police body cameras are rolling as officers here in New Jersey pull this disoriented man out of this burning car. Police received several cars about a car on fire, but it wasn't until they arrived that they discovered there was this 42-year-old man seated in the driver's seat. So acting quickly, they pulled this day's guy out to safety, likely 
saving his life. Investigators are now searching an area of suburban Detroit for a third day now, looking for the decades-old remains of seven young girls. Arthur Ream was convicted back in 08 for the 1986 murder of a 13-year-old girl. Well, now after months of interrogation, police believe he may also be responsible for these other girls' disappearances. We believe Arthur Reams was the uh, person that committed the murders. What we're trying to do is bring closure to the families of the victims. When Reem was charged with that 13-year-old's murder, he was already in prison serving 15 years for sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl. Investigators have not yet said yet if any remains have been found yet today. Next, new video shows the continued devastation in Hawaii. The latest on the lava still flowing from that volcano, Gary. Ah, beautiful blue skies this afternoon, and there's plenty more where this came from, but there's also a disturbance out to the west. That could bring some rain your way. I'll tell you when in your Storm Track 5 forecast coming up. We have new video into us now showing that lava that continues to flow in Hawaii. This is the 14th fissure to open since the Kilauea volcano started erupting earlier this month. Thousands of residents have been forced from their homes at this point, but experts warn this lava could still flow down to the homes that aren't really considered in the danger zone. 36 structures, though, have been destroyed so far. Right now, lawmakers are grilling the president's pick to lead the CIA. My moral compass is strong. I would not allow CIA to undertake activity that I thought was immoral, even if it was technically legal. That was Gina Haspel's response when asked what she would do if the president asked her to do something morally objectionable. She also said under her watch, the CIA would not restart a detention and interrogation program. If Haspel is confirmed, she'll become the first woman ever to lead the CIA. Now for a look at where Wall Street stands this afternoon at a quarter past the noon hour. The Dow up just by a hair, but it is in the green at least. Now up about 11 points. You can always find the latest numbers on our KCTV5 News app. More and more people are going electric when it comes to their cars these days. According to AAA, 20% of drivers say their next vehicle will be an electric one. One reason for the rise in interest, it is getting easier to find these electric charging stations everywhere. The CDC now apologizing for this social media post. In it, they asked if people could spot all five ticks hidden on this muffin. Well, it was meant to raise awareness about the small size of a tick and educate people on ways to prevent tick bites. Well, instead, Twitter users complained that that photo has ruined poppy seed muffins for them forever. CDC posted a tongue-in-cheek apology a few days later, saying basically, sorry, we ticked some of you off. You have just a few days left to get your mom something nice for Mother's Day. This year is adding up to be one of the most expensive, by the way, on record. According to the National Retail Federation, $23.1 billion will be spent on this one-day holiday. This includes more than $2 billion on flowers, $4.6 billion on jewelry, and almost $2 billion on spa days for mom. Big question now is, too, how will that weather turn out for Mother's Day plans this year? Let's go back to Gary. Find out a little bit more about our seven-day forecast. Gary? I think we've got a pretty good day for Mom on well, that's Sunday. That's cooler, now, right? A little bit cooler than what Saturday's going to bring. Saturday, we have a chance to hit 90 in wow. Kansas. I, mean, I don't know if we'll quite get there, but we'll be pretty close. Sunday will be a slightly cooler day. There's also a rain chance, but it's mostly in the morning, and it's not the greatest chance of rain okay. I've seen. So let's talk a little bit about your weather. There is no chance for rain today. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Temperatures already taking off close to 80 degrees. 79 is the official reading. This is live power Doppler radar again scanning the skies. We had those storms that fired up last night just in the, the Northland. They quickly moved out of the area. Now I'm kind of looking off to the west. There will be developing storms late today in western Kansas. Could sneak into central Kansas a little after midnight. And there's a chance that a few of those raindrops could come pretty close to home here by early tomorrow morning. I'll have the latest track on that in just a second. 82 degrees Parkville, 78 Smithville, 79 Liberty with temperatures that are in the 80s in a lot of locations. In fact, Greenwood's in the mid 80s now. And some of those locations that are in the mid 80s like Marshall, Sedalia, 
with a serious perhaps run at 90 degrees today later on. Basically south of I-70 with the exception of Olathe, temperatures are in the low 80s. And north of that same interstate, generally we have temperatures in the 70s. Well, right now it's 79 degrees officially. Keep in mind, that was reported at the top of the hour. I think Kansas City's probably already at 80 degrees now. West-northwest winds at 14 miles per hour will help to pull in some really mild air. Skies will stay pretty much mostly sunny through the day. 86, so a 7-degree temperature climb between now and 4. Dropping off a little bit. Low 80s, though, still at 6 p.m. And upper 70s by 8 o'clock. Sun goes down. The temperatures drop a little bit. But it's going to be a very comfortable evening. Northern zones today working into the mid-80s. Chillicothe, Cameron, and St. Joe. Another very warm afternoon. Even a little warmer in the central zones. Topeka, 87, 87, Olathe. Now, this shows Marshall at 86. That's where Marshall is now. Marshall with a chance to hit 90 degrees. Again, we get these little thermal pockets that kind of establish themselves and set up. So again, a few of these upper 80s could perhaps sneak into the low 90s. I'll have a look at that coming up today at 4 o'clock. So be sure to tune in then to see if your town hit 90 degrees. Thursday planner again having temperatures working into the upper 80s again by 5 p.m. This is tomorrow in the 80s by noon certainly and at 7 p.m. 83. Another warm day on tap. One day advanced, this is Friday. A slim chance for a slight risk for severe weather. That would be over northwest Missouri. Mostly a wind and hail threat. And again, most of this is north of St. Joe. Kansas City, not even included in the marginal risk. This looks to hug that uh, state line between Nebraska and uh, Iowa. Here's a look at those passing showers early Thursday. Watch the rains come in Friday, and you can see them right about there. Notice how it just barely clips the northern portion of uh, northwest Missouri. That's where that slight risk is located. And rainfall, not very impressive for the rest of the week. So if I were you, I'd go ahead and break out the garden hose to do some watering. Security Bank 7-day forecast, hot, 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 hot through Saturday. Bit of a cool down Mother's Day, but still the high hits 80 degrees. And 80 degree heat continues through Tuesday. Carolyn, normal daytime highs at this time of the year, mid-70s. We're beating it every day over the next seven. Boy, by far. Yeah, thank you, Gary. Okay. Take a look at this. Scientists have discovered what may be a new species of squid. Crew from the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association discovered him at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico basin. It's blood red. Look at that. Has stubby arms. Is missing some tentacles, apparently. Scientists say their first thought when they saw this creature was, quoting here, what the heck is that? The crew spent the last month searching the bottom of the ocean for unknown species. Anxiety is on the rise across the country and here at home. So later today on KCTV 5 News at 4, what is stressing us out the most and how to keep it at bay? But first, a big honor for the new royal couple. A look at their new images in wax. You're watching KCTV 5 News at noon. All eyes are on the Governor Greitens investigation. Not making headlines are smaller pieces of legislation, though, that could have a real impact. One father recently testified about a bill that would make it harder for companies to take responsibility for defective products. Brett Adams says this proposed legislation is just terrible. If one of my kids uh, throws a baseball and it breaks out someone's window, I got to pay for it. There's no time limit. Okay, 10 years after the baseball was made, you don't have to replace the window. That's what it is. That's, that's what it is. They get a free pass after 10 years, and that's wrong. So tonight at 10, we take a closer look at this legislation and the deep impact of the Greitens investigation as well. Soon to be American Princess Meghan Markle is the latest wax figurine at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. This museum is one of the most popular tourist attractions in London. Markle's likeness wears the same dress she chose for the couple's first interview, even a replica of the ring that Harry gave her. Once the couple announced their engagement last November, sculptors got to work, and they say they're under some serious pressure. Because she's so well known, she's so beautiful. Uh, she's, um, you know, everybody will have a massive expectation as to as to how we will we will do her. So it's not open to the public yet. The night before the royal wedding, Madame Tussauds London is throwing a combined bachelor bachelorette preview party, so to speak, where fans can buy tickets and be the first to see <laughs> Meghan Markle's new wax work. You know, that's a big draw. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty good likeness there.
That's a pretty good one. All right, Gary, what are we in for for the rest of the day? Ah, today's piece of cake. It looks Pre like a pretty nice great, huh? Yeah, very summer like today. You know, it's nice. really kind of unfortunate that area pools aren't open yet. Yeah, don't, <laughs> I know the don't water put your would be wax super cold outside, ones, but, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they would melt away today. Hey, 63 degrees on Thursday morning. Tomorrow's daytime high working up to 88. Today's daytime high, 86. But there are rain chances, and I'll cover those coming up in your Storm Track 5 forecast today at 4 o'clock. There's a chance that early tomorrow morning a, a sprinkle could pass by south of KC likely before sunrise after that it looks like Friday we have a chance too but that looks to be north of Kansas City again we seem to be dodging those drops this week hey that sounds yeah. good to me thank okay. you Gary and thank you for watching today at noon we'll see you back here for a full hour this afternoon at four o'clock